So you can see that you know the system is is when it's detecting a vehicle, it's putting a, a complete three D bounding box uh, uh, around it. And this is exactly what you need when you're in a complicated situation. So when you're driving on a highway, that is not necessary. Right? But when you're driving in, in, in city traffic, for example, this car on the right, the door can be opened all of a sudden. So you need to know that this is the side of a vehicle and exactly what, where are the boundaries of the side of a vehicle. Let me show you some more, some more clips so that you can, can appreciate the, the complexity and, and why it is needed. So, so when you see an academic paper doing vehicle detection and putting a bounding box around a vehicle, that's not useful. Right? You really need to figure out how to put a 3D bounding box around it, and, and that's tricky. That's tricky because this 3D bounding box is not always visible. Sometimes you see only the rear of the vehicle, sometimes you see only the side of the vehicle, sometimes you see both. Right? So when you think about the input-output relationship, say, in a deep network, it's a bit uh, tricky. Okay, let me show you a bit more. Okay, so you can see the need for something like this in complicated, in complicated uh, scenario. So the next time you read a paper about vehicle detection, bounding box around the vehicle, simply go to the next paper. Okay, <laughs> it's really irrelevant. <laughs> okay. Okay, last last clip here. <laughs> 